What's up guys? I have very exciting news for you. There is a safe place where you can buy cheap FIFA 16 coins. It's fifacoinservice.com and if you use the code LFC you can get an additional 5% discount. Link is in the video's description. Enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pre-Manchester City press conference and I'm very excited but very nervous. This will be the biggest test of our season against the most dull, boring manager that you have ever seen in my opinion Manuel Pellegrini's press conferences are as exciting as watching paint dry or as, as, as watching a wall in front of you if I were Man City players in the dressing room I would fall asleep during his team talks because he always go, talks in this monotone boring voice which is great if you want to sleep if you want to take a nap but it doesn't excite me how can he motivate the players I'm not really sure but remember we are building for the future for this season our aim is the top four on the other hand Man City should be challenging for the title and, and winning it but at the moment they are way below Arsenal in the table so they are really really, Bellagrini is really doing a bad job in my opinion Thanks for your attention, let's see what happens in the Man City game What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome back to the Liverpool Carrier Vote Show If you want to see the next episode very soon, let's get this video to 1000 likes, smash the like button and also let me know in the comments below where are you watching from, which country, which city are you watching from and I really hope you enjoy the storylines, the cutscenes and everything else in this carrier mode. We are moving up to legendary difficulty. I will play the away games on legendary and if I can handle it maybe I will play the home games on legendary as well. I want to make this series as realistic as possible so I think Man City away should be one of the hardest games and I'm so pumped for this game guys. We haven't see conceded a goal in like seven league games or something like crazy like that. Go on Moreno, there we go. Oh, this is brilliant. Oh man, I'm loving this. Benteke? <gasps> Cross it! Oh, Firmino! Laid back! Continue! Oh, come on, man! Give me a break! Legendary! Oh, it's so hard! No, 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 no! Aguero! Whoa! Oh, no! No! Aguero! What a strike! This is legendary for you! That was Man City's first shot on target and Aguero is lethal, one turn. And it was so quick, I couldn't even react. Look at that flick by the back of his heel. Oh, beautiful. Okay, Klein. Okay, Klein, can you produce some magic? Oh, he's done it. He's done it! No! I can't believe Klein hit the post. Oh, Emre Chan is too slow. What a save. Mignole, beautiful. Wonderful save. He sticks out his hand. That is world class save. Wow, Mignole, get in there. Miller, bang. I can't believe it. I hit the post again. What is this? Is how the game many people believe oh boy be Aguero no it's two two now Matt man I'm I'm hitting the post and Man City are scoring the goals oh go on Emre Chan have a smack why not ah, I just can't get break down heart well, I guess our run had to end at some point and I was fearing that it could come at Man City, but I actually, I think it was a pretty even game. I hit the post twice. If those go in, it could have been a draw. That defeat to Man City was very costly because now we are nine points behind Arsenal, just two points behind Man City. But this season, I'm trying to get into the top four. That's, I think, the realistic target. And the next one is a big one, against Sion at home, we must win this game. Unlike Liverpool in real life, I want to show the Liverpool fans that we can take the Europa League seriously. So I'm, I'm building a fairly strong team. Come on Origi. Bang it! Oh, another good save. Go on. 
Milner! Milner! Bang one! Oh, damn it, Milner. Oh, yes. Oh, this is this is Ibe's moment. Lalana! Boom! Ah, uh, I can't I can't break down the C on defense. They're just too too strong. So I'm throwing everything at C on Inks, Bantake, and Moreno coming on. Let's hope that they can win the game for us. Go on. Lalana! Beautiful! Please win the game! I can't believe it! Oh! Oh my god, Mignolet. I had so many chances to win this game. It's the second game in a row where we can't score. So frustrating. We had the possession, we had the shots. But our shot accuracy was terrible. These, these, uh, these young players don't have the finishing yet. We have one game left in the Europa League group stage and I think we have to win that if we want to qualify to the next round. And Man United play the game more, so if we win the next game against Swansea at home, then we can climb above them. But this will be a difficult game, Swansea are a strong team. Meet you! Nice to meet you! You still play for Swansea? Wow. I'm switching formation because I haven't scored in the last two games. Oh, come on, Inks. <gasps> Bentake! Yes! Christian Bentake! What a goal! What a start! Finally we get our first goal in the episode! And it's the big man, the beast, Christian Bentake! Look at the look at the persistence, the work rate of Danny Ings! He closes down the defender! And that's why we scored the goal! Yes! Firmino! What a run! And he can't finish it. No way. Oh, Firmino. Bang! Two chances for Firmino. Let's go. Oh, please. Beltake. Tell me he's on. Yes, it's two. I had to do that, guys. I'm sorry. It's a sweaty goal. But it's the smart thing to do. Because this could mean a, a big three points in the Premier League. So, and then Ings gets another goal. Benteke, very unselfish. Oh no. How oh, is he so open? Ooh, good save, Mignolet. Well done. Oh, oh Firmino. Firmino! Firmino! Oh, no penalty. Wow, that was brilliant by Firmino. Oh, well good save, Mignolet. Come Substitution is imminent. Oh no, that's a red. That's a red card. Oh, uh, it was rash. Very, very. That's a red card. Yeah, I thought so. Very stupid challenge by Benteke. I, by me, I mean. It's just, there's no need for the, to do that in the middle of the park. So I'm bringing on Origi, Lucas, and Tolisso, and I'm uh, just putting a pre two. Two strikers up front. No! Oh no! Why didn't I clear it? What am I doing? <laughs> no way! Oh, what a stupid error. I thought Sakovic had it back, but he passed it back instead and Mignolet. I wanted to boot it out, but oh my god. Oh my god! Oh no! Holy moly, they missed the one on one. We, oh my goodness, we almost gave away a 2 0 lead. Oh my god, I'm so open at the back. <gasps> Please! Are you serious? Oh my goodness. What a battle this was, guys! We almost gave away a 2-0 lead. I was very stupid getting a red card with Benteke. And Swansea piled on the pressure. As you can see, we were very, very lucky to win this game. Mignolet had an outstanding game. Even though I made the mistake with him not try booting the ball out. He had 11 saves Mignolet, so I can't really fault him. That win against Swansea was huge because now we have a 4-point advantage over Manchester United. 
And basically, we are above Chelsea as well in terms of uh, games played and points collected. They, they played one game more, that's why they are above us. So essentially, we are in third place. Very, very decent start to the league season, but we have to be very careful because even Tottenham and West Brom are pushing for the top four. So it's going to be a very interesting second half of the season. And of course, the January transfer window is coming up very soon. So you can start thinking about who should I sign maybe and also who should be sold from the squad. Let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching guys. Really hope you enjoyed this Liverpool carrier episode. If you did, smash the like button. See you later guys. Goodbye.